Module 2, Equipment, covers the following topics. Placing equipment and adding nozzles. The first topic in Module 2 is placing equipment. Before we place our equipment though, we'll place a north arrow for the drawing. Select the miscellaneous tab. Select the north arrow icon. The north arrow dialog opens. Select the appropriate north arrow symbol for the drawing. We'll pick up and to the right for this drawing. Place the north arrow. We'll pick a spot in the upper left corner of the border. To place the equipment, simply select the equipment tab. Select either horizontal or vertical vessel for flat views or horizontal or vertical in the full view. We'll place all the equipment for this tutorial. Select the horizontal vessel, pick a location for the center of the vessel, and then pick the edge of the vessel. And the vessel is placed matching our isoplane setting. Let's place a horizontal vessel full view. We'll pick one end of the seam line, other end of the seam line, and then the edge of the vessel, and the vessel is placed. We will also place a vertical vessel, picking the lower seam line, the upper seam line, and the edge of the vessel, and our vessel is placed, and according to our isoplane. Let's change the isoplane and see what happens. We'll place a horizontal vessel, a horizontal vessel in full view, a vertical vessel in full view. Easily done, and it matches our isoplane. To place the vertical vessel, change the isoplane, select the vertical vessel tool, select the center point and the edge of the vessel, and it is placed. Our last topic in Module 2 is placing nozzles. Let's zoom up on each of the vessels and add a nozzle. On this vessel, before we can place the nozzle, we must set our isoplane. Set the isoplane to an appropriate setting. In this case, we'll come off the top of the vessel with a nozzle. We'll set our spec and our size and our line number, and then we'll find our nozzle. Located on the flanges tab, select the nozzle icon, select the insertion point, in this case, the weld point, click OK, select the starting point and the direction of the nozzle. It does ask for a nozzle projection from the center of the vessel or the pump. Input the value and a nozzle is placed. That value will show up when we do our dimensioning. To place a nozzle on this piece of equipment, let's say we're going to come off the side, adjust our isoplane setter size, select the nozzle tool. Again, select the weld point, pick the start point of the vessel, enter the center line distance and the nozzle is placed. Let's take a look at our vertical vessel and we'll have the nozzle coming off in the easterly direction. Again, set our isoplane, set our pipe size, line number, and spec, and then select the nozzle tool. Put in a value and the nozzle is placed. This concludes the topics covered in Module 2. Please review Module 2 or select the next module.